Capitalism. Here he's talking about Rodney King. He had to bring in the American army, very costly. And the riots of 92. But since it was on instinct, it had no reason, nothing to direct it, it would spin itself out. People responded to that incident, and what he's arguing is that that kind of response, since it's not organized, it's not structured, it hadn't been planned, there's no identifiable leadership, there's no agenda, there's no program, is going to disappear. We saw George Floyd on camera for nine minutes with a knee on his neck, and so now people are responding globally, but if we are not careful, one of two things will happen. Either it will just disappear, or it will be co-opted by people who will take the energy of the instinct to support something that the people never really asked for. We must come to understand that the overwhelming majority of our people are unconscious. But just because they're unconscious, you shouldn't think they don't want freedom. As a matter of fact, sometimes the unconscious is quicker willing to give their lives in struggle than the conscious. And that's why he's saying the unconscious are often more ready to sacrifice their lives than the conscious. So the unconscious will walk up to the police and spit in their face on instinct where the conscious says, man, they'll kill you. I've seen this before. <laughs> so that's the conscious versus the unconscious. It's, a, it's an interesting dynamic because one would think that the conscious is more committed and may be. But it's not about commitment, it's about strategy. Would you imagine what it'd be like when we are conscious rebellious, when we consciously organize to rebel in Los Angeles with reason? I mean, making supply See? lines. Reason. Making sure armaments are there, having hospital aids, having fire brigades, just like they do even in Ireland. Nothing big, just a little planning. When he refers to Ireland, he's talking about what, what the system calls terrorism and, and what others call revolution, where the Irish, the IRA, would blow places up in support of their cause. So as soon as he says Ireland, <laughs> that puts him in a category that is completely beyond Dr. King. Although, Stokely himself never bombed anything. <laughs> so it's, it's hyperbole, it's, it's exaggeration for the purpose of making a point. The only, underline the word only, the only route to consciousness is through struggle. Now, for example, we've shown you the unconscious struggle. Those who rose up in righteous rebellion against the state police in Los Angeles, they were, they were consciously involved in struggle. They were involved in struggle, unconscious, but involved in struggle. The conscious must understand precisely what their task is, and we've said this two years ago here, we repeat it. Ours is not to teach the people to be conscious, but to make them conscious of their unconscious behavior. Okay. Our task is not to teach the conscious to be, to teach the unconscious to be conscious, but to make them conscious of their unconscious behavior. Because unconsciously, instinctively, they seek freedom. What we must do is make them conscious. Look, you want freedom anyway. Let's be serious. Let's sit down. Let's plan it. Let's wage protracted war and let's tear down the system and walk on to liberation. It's as simple as that. My generation grew up listening to these kinds of analyses. We had options. We had the Black Panthers. We had the Black Muslims. We had the civil rights leadership. We had the Black Church. And then for fun, for play, for entertainment, we had the voices of James Brown. We had the voices of Gladys Knight and the Pips. We had the voices of the Supremes, of the Jacksons, of the Temptations. We had entertainment massaging the culture while the movements were changing the culture. And unfortunately, your generation has grown up with the entertainment being the core and the voices being so exterior that they were almost not heard at all. And the question is, how do we help the culture be more balanced to ensure that entertainment is not the core? but rather the exterior massaging the core. Entertainment can't be the meat, it's got to be the gravy. And you've had a whole generation that grew up on gravy, which is a threat to the culture.